he was about two seconds from being deployed to the Korean War. And he was in a plane crash off San Francisco when he was 21 years old. Wow. He was, he was in the Army, and he was doing a flight somewhere. He had done some, like, uh, training flight or something. They said, oh, you know, hop on this thing. And uh, he said, okay, cool, last minute, I'll go do it. He was in a plane crash. The crash landed in San, outside of San Francisco Bay. And because I mean, he ultimately ended up there, I think one person died. Him, him and the pilot or co-pilot, I can't remember, had to swim to shore like at, at night Jesus over Christ. two miles, I want to say something crazy. And, you know, there's tons of sharks, tons of shit out there in San Francisco. And um, this was, you know, 1950. So at the time, my grandmother, uh, they, they had told him, that they had told my grandmother that he had gone down in a plane crash. I thought, he thought they, uh, she thought he was dead. And there was no cell phones, there was no social media, there was no anything. It took a week for him, by the time he got back and he got back to the thing, to be able to call her after, I don't know, maybe I had to go to the hospital, I can't remember, um, for him to be able to call his, his mother and say, hey, I'm alive. Wow. And that is what kept him from going to the Korean War because he was supposed to be deployed, but because he was in this plane crash, he had to stay and testify and do the whole do this whole thing and they had just deployed without him. Wow. Isn't that crazy how one moment in time can change the whole course of someone's life? 